on a question that they said to observe that students had to answer every question before they moved on. Um, in order to become familiar with them accordingly, and you know, I went back to 2012 um, where we talked about the track and field part as our uh, planning building committee. Okay, so you're an elected official, so I should probably treat you equally and ask you questions too. <laughs> My, my question has to do with the school resource officer. Yes. I understand he's fairly well thought of, but my question is, does he, has he performed any arrests that you know of of students at school? Um, I'm not sure if I should comment on that, um, but not to my knowledge this year he has not. But he's very involved with our student body and keeping us on track as to our safety, and I, that's basically his main concern. So if he were to find marijuana in someone's locker, what would happen? He, they would probably be arrest made, but I'm not, I'm not official on that. I should not maybe comment on that. I guess it's what he's done that matters yeah. rather than what he might do. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Thanks so much. Thank Appreciate you. transparency. I'm getting more answers from you than most people are having <laughs> here today. Take care. Thank you. What would happen if a homeschooler got the kind of questionable results that your school has gotten in terms of reading proficiency? Would they be allowed to continue homeschooling? You have some say over homeschoolers in this district, is that correct? You can stop someone from homeschooling if you don't like the way they're doing it. Who can stop you guys from teaching poorly? if they want to. Where's your accountability? To what extent do you folks have authority over homeschoolers in your district? Uh, there's some uh, minor overseeing of them. Um, I'm not familiar with that topic, but uh, uh, provide curriculum for them if they need it. We provide resources for them. Uh, they can, homeschoolers can access our, our teams, they can access some of the classes we have at high school. You know, it's not exclusionary, so they can pick and choose. What would happen to a homeschooler if they got the same kind of weak results that you guys seem to be getting in terms of reading proficiency? Would they be allowed to continue homeschooling? It's up to the parental choice, I guess. Yeah. So the school can't stop a student from homeschooling? I don't believe so. If they're so, in the no. district? I don't believe so. Well, that's good. All right, thanks so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Question. Your vice chair, Ms. Barnes, has indicated that, uh, you know, at least hinted, that uh, reporters have to have government permission to film government people going into government meetings. I don't agree with that. You don't support her position? No, I Did don't. Did you see this conversation that I had with her? No, I didn't. At the earlier meeting over at the school? No, I didn't. Have you ever had reporters at the school before? Yes. Yeah. You know, close oh, meetings? at the school, yes. Standing outside. I know you can't go in, but... Uh, uh, not at our non-public sessions, but at our public sessions. Okay, well, I guess I'm your first then. Yeah. <laughs> All right, take care. Have a good night. work has um, come back lower. I see. Yeah. <laughs> it could have been worse. Dr. McLaughlin, what would happen to a homeschooler if they had the kind of weak results that you guys have been getting in terms of reading proficiency. No, if you want to have a serious conversation, I'm happy to have a conversation with you, but you'll make an appointment with me and we'll talk about it. Oh, I'm good right here. You're oh, standing I here. I'm standing that. here. Although you seem to be kind of leaving the scene now. 